In this question, PQR Limited invited applications for 20,000 shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 2 per share. Now students, this is a case of issue of shares at premium. Payable as rupees 5 per share on application and 6 per share on allotment including premium. That means premium of rupees 2 per share was payable at the time of allotment. So students, in this 6 rupees that is called at the time of allotment, 4 rupees belong to the capital and 2 rupees are securities premium and rupee 1 per share on the first call. The first call is of rupees 1. So now you can do your calculations. 10 rupee per share at a premium of rupees 2. That means 10 plus 2 issue price is 12 rupee. Right? The application money is rupees 5. Allotment is rupees 6. And first call is 1. Obviously including premium. So the total comes to 12. Right? They both are same. Sometimes in certain questions, you might not be given the call money. And the question might simply say the balance on the first call. So what you can do is, let's say this is 12 rupee. Out of this 12, subtract 11. You will get 1 rupee as the balance amount which will belong to the first call. Moving ahead, all the money was duly received. Except allotment and calls on 500 shares held by Mr. Ram. Now students, the first point to note here is that in this case, the number of applications is not given. Since in this question, applications received is not given, we would clearly make an assumption that the applications were equal to the shares offered. That means it is a case of full subscription. The second point to note here is that all the money has been received except by 500 shares which are held by Mr. Ram, right? That means Mr. Ram has paid us the application money of rupees 5 but has not paid anything thereafter. He has not paid 6 rupee per share on allotment and 1 rupee per share on call. So let us see how this would be journalized. Starting with journal entries, the first entry should be of the amount of applications money received by the company. So the entry is bank account debited to share application account. Now in this case applications were received for 20,000 shares and the application money was rupees 5. So the total amount received is 20,000 multiplied by 5 that is rupees 1 lakh. Narration is being application money received for 20,000 shares. Next entry students should be of transfer of this application money to share capital and in case we have received any excess applications that should be refunded. But remember this question was of full subscription that is no excess applications were received. So the whole of this money in share application should be transferred to share capital. The entry for that would be share application account debited. to share capital account that is being application money transferred to share capital. And the amount would be rupees 1 lakh. Now students, thereafter we move on to the step for converting or receiving the allotment money. Now the first entry would be to make the allotment due. Obviously, 
in practical life we would ask our allottees to pay for the allotment money right now in this case there was securities premium which was to be paid along with allotment so the entry for allotment would be share allotment account debited to share capital account to securities premium that is being allotment money due now students remember securities premium is a capital gain for us and like any other gain this should be credited so hence it has been credited here to securities premium account what about the amounts the total allotment money that was to be received by the company was 20000 shares multiplied by 6 rupee that is 1 lakh 20000 out of this 6 rupee 2 rupees were for securities premium so the amount would be 20000 into 2 that is 40000 for securities premium and 20000 into remaining 4 rupee that is 6 rupees was the total amount minus 2 rupees for premium so the amount would be 80000 that would be transferred to share capital the next logical entry is to receive the amount due at the time of allotment so the entry would be bank account debited to sh share allotment account now students remember in this case there was mr ram who has not paid allotment money on his 500 shares that means there is some amount which is still to be received and we call that amount as calls in arrears now students there are two methods of dealing with it right the first one is to reduce the amount that we have received that is the entry in the bank to share allotment account will reflect only the amount that has been realized now in this case the total amount due was 1 lakh 20000 this was the amount to be received out of this mr ram who held 500 shares has not paid allotment money of rupees 6 that means he has not paid 3000 right so the total amount that we have realized is 1 lakh 70000 17000 so this amount will appear in the journal entry right and the narration would be being allotment money received except on 500 shares right so this is the first case alternatively we can show this in calls in areas account so the entry in place of this can be i'm writing it as or case bank account debited calls in arrears account debited to share allotment account now the total amount that was received was 1 lakh 70000 and the calls in arrears will show the amount that we have not yet received which was 3000 and the total will appear as 1 lakh 20000 in share allotment account remember you can follow either of these two cases so for this question i'll stick to case 1 right students bank to share allotment account 1 lakh 17000 the next step is first call that is the money for first call would be due the entry would be share first call account debited 
टू शेयर कैपिटल राइट स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर सिंस दिस वॉज द फाइनल कॉल वी आर मैंशन फर्स्ट एंड फाइनल कॉल द अमाउंट वॉज रुपी वन पर शेयर फॉर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शेयर सो दैट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिस इज द अमाउंट ड्यू and the narration would reflect it being first call money due the next logical entry would be to receive this amount and the entry for that would be bank account debited to share first and final call narration would be being first call money received except remember ram had not paid first call money as well so except on 500 shares now students amount realized in this case would be 20000 minus 500 rupees which were to be received from ram so we have realized 